the hair. It's a little, it doesn't feel crunchy. There's no crunch to it, but it, I feel like it looks crunchy. I'm testing a bunch of new things to try the curly girl method. One of the things I'm discovering is that I think I have wavy hair. I don't know about curly. I know it's kind of like on a spectrum, but I also know that people are like real particular about the language you use when you talk about this. Like, oh my goodness, you will get your head bit off if you claim to have curly hair when you only have wavy hair or whatever. So anyways, my point is just that I've been trying some different things, following some different people on Instagram and whatnot to try to figure out, to suss out, if you will, if I have curly hair, wavy hair, what can I do with my natural hair without using a curling iron and all that kind of stuff. So I tried some methods from this girl on Instagram. I cannot remember her name, but I will link her in the description box, okay? She's got gorgeous, like coppery red hair. Makes me wanna go back to my red hair, but she has natural waves curls anyway. So I've been using some of her methods. It's actually one of the things on my list of favorites this month. So I might as well just keep talking about it right now and wrap that up and then we'll move on. Um, Cause that's what this is. This is a favorites video. In case I didn't say that, this is not my normal intro, but here we go, we're in it. We're in it, we got, we're just getting started right away. It's time for another favorites video. You know, it's my favorite things that I'm sharing with my favorite people. There you go, we gave ourselves an intro. She recommended this like curl custard stuff and then how to diffuse your hair and all of that. So I did all, all of those steps. And then she recommends using a hair oil after to break up the cast or like crunch that's on your hair. And I, I did that, but I do, I don't know. I do still feel like it, maybe it's just me. It just looks crunchier in the camera. It doesn't feel crunchy. Anyway, so that's what I did. But I will say that one of the biggest things I've noticed, because uh, I've been doing this for about a month now, I've dried my hair and like straightened it and stuff twice in the last month. Otherwise I've been wearing it curly or wavy, whatever. And uh, one of the biggest things I've noticed is using the shampoos that don't lather. Uh, I don't really know, understand the chemistry behind that because I just haven't bothered to do any of the research. But if you buy shampoo and conditioner for curly hair, most of the time the shampoo is the kind that doesn't lather. Then I did get a sample of the Living Proof shampoo and conditioner for curly hair. So yeah, I've tried a few different things. Uh, today I washed my hair with the Carol's Daughter one. So anyways, I've been trying a couple different things, especially because I've got my oldest daughter trying it as well because I'm pretty sure that she does have some like pretty good natural wave or curl to her hair and then I'm trying to bring back the curls in Ivy's hair because Ivy used to have curly hair and it kind of just started like falling out and I think it's because of brushing and shampoo and conditioning stuff that we were doing we're all trying to bring back the curl in our hair wow this this was a very long intro about curly stuff that's one of my favorites uh, because it's just faster easier most of the time less heat less products like that less heat products on my hair as I'm trying to like repair my hair and get some of the growth back in it where I feel like I've had some hair loss around the front from bleaching and stuff finding something that I like doing with the front of it is I would say the hardest part. Maybe y'all y'all get that and you relate, but like figuring out what to do with just this front piece of it is the hardest part. Cause when I diffuse it, my hair is like down in front of my face, like, um, like a bowl cut. <laughs> oh, okay, let's just go ahead and do favorites. Number two, it's not the cup. I've told you guys about the cup before. It's what's inside the cup. You guys know already how much I love liquid IV. I've shared about it a bunch of times, but the pina colada flavor. I love you, you're so delicious. The pina colada flavor, y'all, is so good, and I don't like coconuts, so whatever that tells you about me, about the flavor, I don't know. I don't like coconuts, but I like the pina colada flavor. Let's just keep going, shall we? Next up, I wanna tell you about this lovely little perfume. It's the Glossier You perfume, first of all. It has like a little indent in the side of the bottle right here, so like when you pick it up, your thumb fits right there. So when you pick it up to spray it, it's the little things, guys, I like that. Because I think this perfume is another one that would make a great gift because it is, I, I feel like, something that is very universal. It's such a lovely, lovely perfume. The best way I could describe it is kind of fresh and clean smelling, some floral notes in there. Um, I'll, I'll list the actual 
sent notes in there, you know, the top notes, bottom notes, all that kind of stuff in there um, within this scent, but it's lovely. The packaging, of course, is adorable, which is always great, but I just, whew, you guys, you know how, you guys know that I'm a, I'm a perfume lover, and I don't usually buy full-size bottles of perfume these days. I pretty much only buy ones that I can get in travel sizes because I don't want to waste them and have them go bad. Um, so I typically stick with travel sizes, but this one I did buy in a larger size, a 1.69 fluid ounces, and it is good. So for those of you guys who trust and love my perfume recommendations, this one will not disappoint. My next favorite, I've already talked about these a couple times, but that's how much I love them and I'm just gonna share about them one more time, are these mama bracelets that I have. I have two of them. I have the white one and the pink one. Um, and I just adore these. I wear them all the time. They're fun. They feel like very springy, summery, uh, especially if you're just kind of wearing a plain outfit, jeans and a plain t-shirt. It's just kind of a fun way to like punch it up a bit without go too much over the top. I love these. I have to give them another shout out because I like them so very much. Let's, oof, I meant to clean this before we sat down. Is there any hope? Probably not, this is absolutely disgusting. But let's take a minute and chat about summer skin. I want to make something of both our skins. I am pale, I am translucent on my legs, and if you have like spider veins or just, I have some like birthmarks and discoloration and spider veins and all the things. And I don't love it, the, you guys know, I don't love wearing shorts anyways, um, especially like I don't really wear like short shorts. I'm just, I just feel uncomfortable, but I do try. And I'm also trying to just chill out about it and just do it. But one of the things that I can do that will make myself feel better is to put some tanner on. This is my favorite self tanner. And as we're like moving into spring, summer um, and people are starting to use tanner more, I thought I would share this one because I do get compliments, but if they comment on how tan I am, I'll tell them it's a fake tanner. And then they go, really? Because it doesn't look orange. It has a lovely like kind of brown green undertone, which sounds disgusting, but it's what you want in a tanner. And it's the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express <laughs> the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Dark. Uh, this is all I've used for basically the last year and a half. I have a bunch of different tanners that I've tried over the years. I see people talk about other ones and I'm always tempted, but I'm like, no, this works great. I love it. So I'm just not even going to bother changing it. But what I do want to share with you is that half of the struggle, 70% of the struggle with tanner is applying it yourself, especially when you've had children and you have a loose skin in some places and maybe you're not as flexible as you used to be, can't reach all the nooks and crannies and crevices. Sometimes it can be difficult, but also it can, with the little mitt, I feel like sometimes it's hard to get it really even looking. So anyways, what I wanna share with you is this body brush thing. So uh, I picked this up and I have no idea what the brand is or anything, but you kind of hold it on your hand like this and it really allows you to buff on, I don't know if you can see how dense this brush is and stuff. This really allows you, think of like when you're buffing and makeup in your face, on your face, not in your face, gross. When you're like buffing makeup on, this is kind of that same thing. Like it's really allowing you to kind of get the tanner on without any streaks. Listen, I don't understand the physics. It just works, okay? So this I highly recommend. But the second piece, when you want to like put a little bit of tanner on or just really smooth your legs out and make them look really just like flawless, if you will. Let me just be very clear here before you're like, lady, I barely have time to take a shower. I'm not putting makeup on my legs every day. This is not an everyday thing, okay? I'm sharing this with you. If you have like a summer wedding to go to or a date night or a vacation, you're gonna go to a resort, you're gonna go to a nice dinner, you're gonna wear a cute little dress, maybe you're gonna wear like a little midi, mini, mini skirt dress or something and you're just kind of a little bit self-conscious and you just kind of want to like perfect the look of your legs, your stems, you want your stems to look perfect. So the tanner, obviously, but then the next two things are, this product is called Vita Liberata, body blur, body makeup. You can get this at a number of places. I got it in the medium shade and it is body makeup, but here's what I'll tell you. It's kind of like, have you ever seen like the Sally Hansen, is it Sally Hansen? Hansen? Jim Hansen, the Muppets, Sally Hansen, the nails. 
whatever, it's the Sally lady. She makes like a body makeup, like a leg, a airbrushed legs or something that you like spray on. I've had that in the past and I, I mean, I did use it, but not often because it was so messy because it's literally like in an airbrush thing. You have to like spray it on your legs. So I was like, I will give this a try for the sake of my friends on YouTube. I use you guys as an excuse to buy stuff sometimes that I'm like, I wanna try that. And then I'm like, I will, because then if it's good, I can share it with my friends. <laughs> it's really good. It's like body mate. You can use this all over. The key with this is you gotta let it dry. So you gotta put it on, you gotta let it dry. Once you do that, it's pretty darn good. Like it's not gonna transfer. You're not gonna sit somewhere and leave makeup behind. I suppose, I mean, listen, don't, don't like, this is not a blood oath or something, okay? If you're sweating profusely or something, perhaps, but I've never had that happen, okay? And I really love this. It, it really does kind of give you that flawless look to your legs. And then the other product to kind of put on top of that to just make your legs look like shiny and like they're moisturized and beautiful and all of that. So this is that brand that makes the bum bum cream that everybody raves about. They make this product, it's called Rio Sunset Glow Oil and it is just a glow oil. I will use this alone sometimes, just like here on my, my shoulders um, or like on my collarbone area if I just, like if I'm wearing a tank top shirt that I just want that area to look a little bit more, I don't know, just like a, a little bit sun-kissed kind of thing but these two together on your legs and arms um, to kind of perfect if you've got, uh, like I said, if you've got like kind of some of those like red strawberry bumpy things or the KP or spider veins, or you just have translucent skin like I do, where it feels like you can see through my skin, like you might as well be looking at the bone and what little muscle there is. <laughs> Anyways, I've talked about this too long because I feel like sometimes when I wanna share things like with you guys like this, that people are like, what, why would you ever do? So I'm trying to explain that it's not like every day I wake up and put makeup on my legs. The last thing is this little brush. So I use this sometimes when I'm, I use both of these to apply that makeup stuff because I don't want it all over my hands. So I will use both of these. And I also use this if I'm gonna put self tanner on my face, I use this brush for it. But this is also really good for like knees and elbows. Um, and again, just putting a little bit of like that glow oil on. I just don't like getting that stuff all over my hands and then trying to wash it off in the bottom of your hands look kind of like glowy. I don't like love that. So I use these brushes. Okay. Now that I've sufficiently made myself sound like a real weirdo, hopefully if you get it, you get it. <laughs> if you don't, I'm sorry. That was probably painful to sit through. Another favorite that I wanna share with you before we get to like the shoes and clothing stuff is this portable charger. I talked about this in a recent like home gadgets video. I love this thing so much. It is thin, it just plugs right into the wall to charge, which is really great because some of the other ones I have, you have to have, like you have to plug it into something that takes like a USB or USB-C and then plug it into here so that I'm always looking for uh, one of the like iPhone charger things. Like it's just not as quick and easy. This literally just plugs right into the wall. And then it's just got the two different types of chargers at the top, USB-C, and then whatever the heck that charger is, the lightning cable, whatever, the charger for the iPhone. Um, and they are stuck to it and they close into it. So it is a very compact, slim, easy. I keep this in my purse because sometimes I forget to charge my phone overnight. And then the next day I've like got errands to run and, and I realize that my phone is dying um, and I'm frustrated because the charger I have in my car keeps my phone on, but it doesn't actually charge it. So maybe at some point I should replace that. But if I'm not gonna be in the car, if I'm just going to a place, well now I can't listen to my podcast or whatever because my phone's dying. So I keep this in my purse and it's fabulous so i love this thing i also think it would make a, a, a fabulous a fabulous gift okay before you scream at me about like angie really another dilly dang purse i just have one little thing to show you this little sling bag isn't it the cutest i really like uh like a fanny pack style when i'm going to like carowinds or uh, the zoo or something like that where i want to have both hands free to deal with kids, but I wanna have my phone, just like wallet, a couple small things with me. And maybe I do have a bigger bag that's got all the kids stuff in it, but I just want something really small and easy for me. And I don't need my backpack, like my mom backpack that I carry. I don't need like all of that. I just need something smaller, especially a place where you're going on rides that you can get away with keeping this on on the ride and not having to take your bag off and have someone hold it or whatever, especially if they're small enough and um, you just like tuck them to the side. They're not interfering with like the fit of your 
straps and things that hold you into the ride, don't ever, ever break the rules on that, okay? That's the kind of safety that you don't mess around with. So long as this is like off to the side or whatever. Anyways, I just love this. I think it's very classy and pretty. It kind of reminds me of a purse that my grandmother used to carry. She used to carry these stone mountain leather bags and they were like always like a white or cream. And um, I, I saw this and I thought, I love it. It's very classy and pretty. I like the brown with the kind of cream color. There's a few different colorways in this, but I read this in the reviews before I ordered it. People were like, this is really soft and nice. And that is what I would, I would 100% agree with that. It feels like it should be more expensive. It feels like a more expensive bag than it is. Um, and it's actually has like a deceivingly large amount of space. It's got a built-in wallet area right here. So you can just slide your cards in. You don't have to put a whole wallet in. It's got a little area in the back. You can fit your phone in there. This part right here just buttons. So you could totally fit your phone right there. Um, and then just a few other little things in here, keys, chapstick, whatever it is that you need. And it's just this really cute little sling bag. So I'm getting ready to go to Florida um, with the twins for a makeup trip for their birthday that got canceled last year. We're taking all the kids back later for the makeup trip when the hurricane ended our Florida trip early. But this is a makeup trip for the twins that I had had booked last April and my grandmother got sick and passed away. So that trip got canceled completely. And uh, so we're making it up. My mom and I are taking Ivy and Amelia for a few days down to Florida to do a couple things. And it's sort of a makeup trip for that that was supposed to be for their fifth birthday. So this is kind of like, I guess, gonna be a present for their sixth birthday. Anyways, this is what that bag is for. Speaking of, let's talk about sandals. Let's talk about shoes really quickly before I get into their clothes. Um, I shared these sandals. I love like Birkenstock si style sandals, slip on style, but I don't love like the kind of just traditional, I guess, Birkenstocks. I don't quite know how to articulate what I'm trying to say, but these are from J. Crew. Now I will say they, they sold out, they restocked. Don't buy them full price. I did not buy them full price. J. Crew very often does like buy something, get something else 50% off, or they'll just put a whole section of their website for 40% off. Don't pay full price for these sandals. Let me be very clear. I like them a, a lot, but don't pay full price for them. They are so cute. They are kind of this, I don't know, like a, a woven material, like a natural weave material. Um, and they're very like squishy and soft here on the footbed part. Obviously this is adjustable. It's not as stiff as you might think. Well, maybe you can kind of tell under there with the leather. It's not as stiff as you might think based on how they look. These are super cute, very comfortable, true to size-ish. I got an eight and a half. I'm between an eight and an eight and a half and they fit fine. So maybe go like, if you're like me and you're kind of in that half size, go for the slightly larger one but I really, really love those. There's this fashion blogger girl that I follow that I should probably just unfollow because she's half the reason that I buy stuff I probably don't need. She wears these sandals that I love, but they are ridiculously expensive, ridiculously expensive. So I've been um, on the hunt for some kind of dupe or something different. Now the ones that she wears are like a tan color and they are beautiful. And, uh, but I was thinking to myself, well, what would I get the most wear out of in terms of color? Let me start there first. So anyways, I ended up getting these in, which way am I trying to go with these? This way. I ended up getting these in black. They are the Steve Madden, oh, shoot, I cannot remember the name of them. It starts with an M. I call them dad sandals because they are like these kind of chunky. I remember when people first started wearing these, I kind of scoffed and was like, I don't know if that's very attractive. But the older I get, the more I learn that sometimes it's the most unattractive clothing things that are so comfortable and you just love them. And that's how I feel about these. Uh, I wore them for the first time and I wore them for hours and hours and hours, running errands, doing stuff back and forth all over. And my feet did not hurt at all. They felt good. They were there like the footbeds on them and the bottoms are squishy. So they're not um, super hard. They, I feel like I could totally wear these to walk around Disney or you know, like one of those places, like an amusement park and be totally fine. And they stay on your feet. That's what I really like because obviously something like this, you, you have to do a little bit of work with your feet to hold these on. So my feet will get, I don't wanna say sore, but kind of, but I have very high arches. 
so I have to do a little bit more work <laughs> to keep the shoe on my foot. And I love this because it keeps the shoe on your feet. You can go on rides and all that and your shoes aren't gonna fall off. Um, cause I don't always love wearing tennis shoes cause then my feet get kind of hot and sweaty and swollen. So sometimes I need to let my piggies get air and breathe. I really, really love these so much so that I will probably be ordering a second color. I will probably go back and get the tan ones, but again, coupons checking for i'll try to link to the best prices i can find on these because steve madden sells their shoes in a number of places so you want to check for best prices but they have a bunch of different colors in these and i adore them they also have these in like a rattan like woven material but i figured i didn't need that since i already had these uh, but i really really like those so if maybe you're not so sure about these get these in that Type of material they're like the perfect summer shoe i don't really have any home things to share with you in this video because i'm doing a separate video because i have some home updates to share in the living room and like how i'm styling the bookshelves and everything like home products kind of all going to go in that video so that's why there's not really any home stuff in this video but that's okay because we're going to make up for it with some fabulous clothing things to share with you and by fabulous i mean if you're a basic mother like i am you're gonna love this stuff. All right, so first let's just get this sweatshirt out of the way because I'm sure you're like, sweatshirt? It's hot. <laughs> yes, it is, but I wear sweatshirts all the time, year round, because once air conditioning comes on, I get cold. I always like to have a sweatshirt with me. And this is my newest one that I added and it's become my favorite. It says Harvard Law. And then in tiny letters, it says, just kidding. And I love it. A sweatshirt with a little bit of sarcasm. I love it so much. So maybe you're not so into that, but I always crack up when I see like Target is selling like the t-shirts and sweatshirts, whatever that are like Harvard and Yale. And, and then you see people wearing them and you're like, I wonder if they really went to Harvard or Yale. And I just, the humor in this, this is my kind of humor right here. Harvard Law, just kidding. And then somebody can be like, there's no way that you went to Harvard Law. And then I can be like, objection, speculation, and then just walk away two pairs of pants that bring me back to my high school days, but in the best way possible. Um, again, y'all know I don't love wearing shorts, but it does get very hot for jeans. So I'm always looking for pants alternatives, but I want casual pants, comfy pants. And American Eagle just decided that they were gonna give me, like toss me a bone. And they started making and selling these like, I don't know, cargo type pants. I got a pair similar to this last year, the year before from Abercrombie that I like and I just love this kind of like green color. These are so comfortable. It feels almost like I'm just wearing pajama pants. I can toss these on with a t-shirt, a plain t-shirt, a graphic t-shirt, a sweat, whatever. And I can wear these to the store. I can wear these to work in the garden. I can do whatever I want in these and I am like ready to go. I tease my husband about his cargo shorts, but I do love these like throwback cargo pants. And if you are like farm, homesteading, animals, kids kind of life, then you know that like you really need versatile pants. And that's where this next pair comes in. Very similar, uh, except these have kind of, um, they don't have an actual, well, I mean, you could draw, it's, there's a drawstring there, but these are more of a wide leg all the way down, like looser, flowier, and they're kind of like a washed black. So they are very casual black pants. Insanely comfortable insanely comfortable, very um, true to size. I got these both in a long and they're not very long. So just so you know there, if I'm 5'8", if you're taller than that, the, lo the longs probably aren't gonna work for you um, because they barely work for me and I don't dry them. I wash them and hang dry them. But I have been wearing those pairs of pants on repeat since I got them. I mean, it's rare to see me wear jeans <laughs> right now because I love those pants so much. Okay, now let's talk about something that's not so casual, dresses. I have this dress that I wanted to share with you that is from Amazon. It's a green maxi dress type. Um, it does have like the spaghetti straps, but they're adjustable. So you can bring it up to make sure that nothing's flopping out the top. And I like it because it's the tiered kind, but the top tier, is like a, what's it called? Like sewn on the bias or whatever. It's more of a diagonal seam for that first one at the top. And there's something about it that I think is flattering and slimming. I, I don't know how to explain it other than that. It's just kind of one of those things that when I first put it on, I thought, uh oh, is the seam crooked? 
it is, but it's intentional, and I actually really like that about it. I think it makes it look a little different. I happen to really love kind of the army green color of it, though they have multiple color options in it. And then the last thing is this shirt that I'm wearing today. It's like a baby blue color, and it's kind of, I guess it is more of a crop, and then it's got like a, a sort of like an eyelet lace around the bottom, and more of like a ruffly thing around the arms it's not my typical style these days it's kind of more of a throwback to styles i used to wear but there was something about the sort of periwinkle blue color mixed with the eyelet lace the kind of just casualness of it but not so casual as it's just a plain t-shirt it makes me feel like i put myself together a little bit even though it's just a very comfortable t-shirt and i can wear it with jeans or cargo pants or whatever I want um, but it makes me feel like I tried harder than I did and I'm all about clothing makeup hair anything like that that allows me to feel like I tried even when I really didn't you know uh, maximum impact for minimal effort I feel like this shirt definitely achieves that last month I was wearing one of the sweatshirts like the hoodies that I was telling y'all about um, and I never got around to making the other video where I was gonna share those so that is gonna be forthcoming I want to share like some athleisure things that are comparable to the fancier brands but at a much cheaper price point and that white hoodie y'all loved that thing I didn't even really talk about it in the video I don't think um, but <clears throat> yeah, you guys clicked through that link and, and a lot of you guys bought that sweatshirt. So uh, obviously that's a great sweatshirt. I love that. The white one, I also have a gray one, but if that one's too heavy, if that scuba knit is too heavy for you this time of year, um, I got a different one from Amazon that's a zip up and instead of a pullover, it's a zip up, but it still has a hood and like a little bit of collar that gives it some structure. It's a crop sweatshirt, but it's a lighter material and it's like a mint color and it's super comfy. And um, I did, I think I got a medium in that, but um, I really like this sweatshirt. So if you're looking for one that's uh, maybe zip up or lighter weight than the scuba knit of the white one uh, that I shared before, definitely. Um, check out this like minty colored one. It's it's kind of one of those things that like I just sometimes will wake up in the morning, throw on my cargo pants and a tank top and that zip up. And then by the time it warms up and I'm outside, I can take off the hoodie. But when I'm inside and the air conditioning's on and I'm just waking up and <laughs> getting my core body temperature higher, it's nice to have a little sweatshirt. I don't know, I'm always cold, okay? I can't help it. I'm not gonna try to justify it, I just am. Okay, y'all, that's it for my monthly favorites video. Uh, like I said, I will have some home decor stuff coming up in a separate video, and uh, I'm gonna share the athleisure stuff as soon as I can. I wanna make sure that I have that all squared away to give you the right comparisons for each thing, but um, no sense in paying astronomical prices for athleisure stuff, because you can get dupes or inspired pieces for much, much less. Anyways, okay, that's it for the favorites video. I hope y'all are having a good day and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.